What's going on, everybody? My name's Chris, and welcome back to another exciting episode of Let's Play Firewatch. The last episode, we found a plume of smoke that is some direction. And uh, we're now made it to a path where we can now go. Oh, it's, it is that way. Okay. We're now going to go towards a medicine wheel. And uh, I'm just going to make sure I'm going the right way here. I am indeed. Interesting. This thing's actually right by my, uh, my lookout. Oops. Probably gonna want to put that away to be fair. Probably gonna want to you know, just keep, just keep going, just keep trucking. You just say, "Don't you like Ruby River?" Ruby, 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 Ruby. <laughs> uh, I'm stupid. All right, well, I wonder. There's a medicine wheel. Maybe some like ancient tribal crap. Well, oh, I don't need that more games. Tribal crap. I don't need. I want the hell. What did that say? Oh, I thought there was. Whenever I see some Paul on the screen like that, I always assume it's something I can read. Did your wife have anything oh, right. to do with you taking this job, or did you just fall prey to the service's big recruiting push? When it comes to you know how the hell you ended up out here. Uh. Actually, I went looking for the job. I just wanted to get out of town for a while. Yeah, those claw marks yeah, looks like you've beer. Come to the right place. Thanks to last summer, we got a bump in forest service budget and can actually afford to have you. Yay! What happened last summer that accounted for this um, windfall? Fire! Jeez. Fire! I mean, the federal government almost let Yellowstone National Park burn to the ground. Is that right, Al? Oops, no, nope, wrong button. Yellowstone is like what 15 miles away why would they do that well the short story is that for 60 years we got very good at not letting forest fires happen and then about 15 years ago they decided that forest fires in wilderness areas like yellowstone should be left to burn so that's what they did well, that is true. i can't believe you didn't hear about this there were reports that the entire park was gone dan rather telling the country that president reagan didn't care on the nightly news I mean, what the hell's he gonna do? Smoke jump in and snuff one out for the Gipper? Oh, 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 no, no, no. So what should they have done? I don't even know. By the time the Yellowstone folks realized the little fires weren't gonna burn themselves out, a hundred thousand acres were gone. Jeez. It's Yellowstone, you know? People don't want to touch it. But we touch it every single day. It's crazy. But hey, I got a 30 cents an hour raise because we can't have another fiasco. The goddamn park can burn down again. That's a lot of money. That's 60 cents. Hey, there's a tree out here that's been ripped today's out. days. And? Don't you think that's, you know, like, uh, disconcerting? Henry, there are 500 pound grizzly bears out here. <laughs> they sharpen their claws on trees. We don't have grizzlies in Colorado. People killed them a long time ago. Well, in the thoroughfare, they hunt people, they kill people, they bury their bodies, and then come back weeks later to eat them because they prefer rotten meat. People just disappear. Don't you think that's disconcerting? No, Henry, that's life. It's the nature's. Christ, lady. Are you happy now? Wow, okay. there's an old, um, I think it's called a medicine wheel out here? Yeah, it was made by Crow American Indians hundreds of years ago. There are lots of small that's ones. Cool. Um, have you ever been to Medicine Wheel Monument over in the Bighorns? Nope. No, I sure haven't. I don't know what that well, is. It's worth a three-hour detour on the way home in August. Uh, neat. I'll keep it in mind. That's all we had to say. So I guess that was really it, eh? That's all we had to say. I figured this would be a bit more interesting. <laughs> I'm gonna look over here. So, how'd you meet? Met in a bar. Mm, the birthplace of modern romance. <laughs> I stumbled I over the and told her she was pretty, and I forgot about that. that was it. Aw, you were brave. I was drunk. Oh, I see. V V V drunk, the drunkest of all the men's. So drunk, in fact, I puked on her. Yeah. All right. Which way do we go again? This this entire let's play is just let's look at a map for thirty minutes, <laughs> twenty minutes every day, every second day. It's weekends. Weekends just mess up all the schedulings. What is this? Oh. I like climb out of this crap. No, oh, just the borders, I guess. 
Go up this way? No. Oh, crap, I found the right way. I got lost. There we go. Let's follow this dang thing. I'm gonna go north. And west, I guess. Oh, no. No, come on. Are you gonna make me walk all the way around? No. No, don't do this to me. No. Okay, I did it. <laughs> Here we go. Okay. Now we go north. This is where I was the first day when we went, when we found those girls. Uh oh. Get, get off. Oh, my stock. Did I break the game? Okay, good. Whoo. 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 There we go. Now we go west. Oh, I thought he said weast. I'm very, I'm very I'm, I'm, it's weirding me out how we haven't seen a single animal yet. It's steep, she'll slide. Oh, this is where we fell off before, isn't it? <clears throat> All right, it's not fall this time. Shale is very slippery. Very weak rock. They used to make roads out of shale. Did you guys know that? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's true. Nope. Which is a bit silly considering it's a very weak rock. <laughs> Have I mentioned that it's a very weak rocket? Rocket. All right. All right. Okay. All right. Ooh, got a bit of leg there. Is this where we want to go? Oh, there we go. I think this is where we want to go, right? Let's climb down these. I don't think I, I have yet to actually climb up one of them. I feel like that day is coming quickly, though. I like how this thin plume of smoke was, uh... Started, like, a, oh, it's just starting the fire season wraps up. Are you gonna go be with her? Just um, go back to Boulder? You should go be with her. Yeah. That's my opinion. Uh, maybe I'll go visit. I don't know. Well, why <laughs> not? She's with her family in Melbourne. They're Melbourne. not big fans of mine. Oh. Her I sister, Susan, is great, but her parents, I, uh, think they always thought she could do better, and that I could have done a better job looking after her. Fuck yeah. that. I have no doubt you did your best. I don't know. Nope. If you want to go visit her, you should go. Don't let a couple of assholes keep you away from someone See, you love. I'll think about it. Yeah. Don't let them stop me. It's getting close to night again. It's golden hour. Is this day two or three? I think it's day two, right? Three? Two. Rule of threes is anything to go by. Whoa, look at that lock. It's floating. You guys see the shower of lock? <gasps> dun, 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 dun. Look, it's just floating there. Why don't I have a shadow? It's crazy. It's crazy. Ooh, ooh, babe. Oh, is that is that the guy that I forget the name of that we got the camera from? Missing person. Uh, read. Mitch Michaels. No, it's not. Age 31, 6'2", 165 pounds, short brown, or hair short brown, dead fake features, distinctive facial hair. John Fulton Mitch Michaels was last seen around Jonesy Lake on July 3rd, 1981. He was first reported on missing on July 29th, 1981. Jeez, man, a full month. That's sad. By Forest Service personnel. He is not known to be familiar with the area. Last known location, Mitch was seen around Jonesy Lake on the morning of July 3rd, 1981. Vehicle information, 1972 Ford F-250. Blue and white, Montana license plate. Blah, blah, blah. If you have seen any contact with them or have more info, please contact Show Show National Forest Dispatch and blah 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 numbers. What does they use a five 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 number? Uh, How many hikers go missing in the Shoshone? More than none, unfortunately. With most of them country. being in this area, the thoroughfare because it's so remote. Why? I found an old flyer for a missing hiker. It just got me thinking. That's all. Like how you said one day you were talking to the Goodwins and then the next you weren't. Ned Goodwin didn't get mauled by a bear or stuck in a ravine. He was just a PTSD a-hole who dragged his son out to do a job and realized it was a bad idea. Oh, I just messed it up. Oh. Mm -hmm. 
You really didn't like that guy, did you? I don't know. I honestly, I just had a hard time talking to him. I mean, there are lookouts who seriously won't shut up, who call me about every little thing that pops into their head. <laughs> and then there are those who just want to be left alone. Oh, she I see. Was the she likes some people and talk to her a lot. I'm the former, aren't I? Well, I didn't want to say anything. Hmm. <laughs> no, fine. I'll just uh, chuck my walkie-talkie into the river. <laughs> oh, come on. And uh, you'll never hear from me again. Finally, peace and quiet. Woohoo! Ah, oh, she likes it. Come on. Being out here so lonely. You say PTSD. So. Isn't your radio supposed to be in the river? I couldn't bring myself to do it. Well, I guess I'm stuck with you then. Yeah. You said Ned <laughs> didn't get mauled by a grizzly, but it's possible, right? Yeah, I guess it's possible, but we usually find evidence of stuff like that. For instance, if you were to be hunted down and torn to shreds, I'm sure someone would come across a bloody beard and shredded pair of ugly cargo shorts. I like these shorts. I'm <laughs> sure you do, Henry. Boy, for as dry as it is this summer, there's an area down here that's uh, lush. Oh, you must be talking about the Aspen Grove down there. Yeah, I think that's where I am. <laughs> I think. Those trees are actually one root organism. Did you know that? Oh, that's cool. Oh, wait. I didn't. Yeah, they share their water as a colony that can live for hundreds of okay. years. Okay, yeah, that's what I thought fire. she was saying. Can you believe you're actually getting paid to learn all of these amazing things? Also, really cool. uh, by what it looks like on this map, you'll be coming up on a stream that should lead you towards where we saw that smoke. Oh, found the stream. <laughs> uh, let's take a look at my map again. I am really enjoy having this map. It makes me feel nice and comfortable. Ooh, there's something to the north it looks like. It's like a weird little cave. Look at area. Excuse me. The perfect spot to hide a secret. <gasps> Look at this one single tree. It's beautiful. It's so green. Nothing. I mean, yeah. I mean, we went to the supply drop, and there wasn't really anything there. But still, it was enough to make me think. Hmm, maybe there is secret things I could find in this game. music. I kind of don't really like the music, to be honest. I like being left in peace, you know? It's a tr strange thing for them to do, in my opinion. Have, like, most of the game in complete science and randomly have some, like, Minecraft sounding music play. That is so bright. So da bright, man. Where am I going? Oh, I see. I took the... took the high road. I don't think there's anything any other way, so whatever. Let's take a quick look back. No, it doesn't look like there's anything over there. Oh, waterfall! Life is a waterfall! Well, if I find a bloody Mitchell, whatever his name was. Oh, I thought there was like marks on that rock. I don't know why I act so scared for <laughs> Let's make our way towards the waterfall. Doo, 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 doo. Uh, where was there? It is. Where was the waterfall? <clears throat> That's very weird. We saw that one guy at the very beginning of the game. We haven't seen anyone since. Given those girls love a skinny dipping, I bet they're nearby. Even the girls, which I mean, I kind of feel like that's the obvious thing to think at this point, right? Let's, let's look at her map in the bushes. Ah, oh, we're coming up here. We're gonna be right in here. It's time to figure out what do you guys think? Is it the girls? Dang it, I feel as this would have been a perfect time to put a cliffhanger. We're not far enough in the episode yet to do that. Could. I don't think that's the girls, you guys. I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna do it. We're only 40 minutes in, but it's too perfect to not do it. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed, the best way to support me is by leaving a like and subscribing to my channel if you haven't already. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> uh, see you guys next time.
we figure out who has been camping here, starting forest fires, and cutting telephone wire. I only see one person, so might be the person we saw before. He might be violent. He might be a bear person. He might be a skinwalker. You don't know what that is? Look that up. We'll keep you past that. Have a good night trying to sleep. <laughs> see you guys next time. Bye.